one of the things that I, why tides are so interesting to me is because um, it's really hard to see a tide unless it, but you can see a tide going down because the wet mark is kind of left. You go, oh, it's still wet up there. So that's where the high tide was. And now the tide's here, so it must be low tide. Mm -hmm. But if you're at high tide, you can't tell where low tide was because it's covered up. So it's this idea that, that a lot of times nature covers up what it's doing and you can't tell because you're in a particular season. When it's fall and the leaves are all red, you have no idea that there was ever a point when they were green. Mm. Unless you sort of see a few green ones that are left over. So this whole like, that as things change, if there's no trail that you can find, um, then you can't understand what happened. Um, yeah. So it's like showing the trail, which is, is really, that's sort of what I'm after. And, and, and sometimes nature works like, you can see entire events in snow because snow is like a giant piece of landscape paper. Mm -hmm. So I've seen, um, I remember seeing something that I had never seen before, which was a perfect rendition of a hawk's wing on two sides. I'm like, what is going on here? How did that happen? But, and then you could see a kind of hole, a couple more holes, a sort of like messed up snow over there, and then some blood. And you realized it was the hawk coming down, landing on something like a mouse and scrambling to dig and get this mouse and they're tumbling in the snow. And then it's obviously gotten because it's blood is on the snow. So it was like a whole story that unfolded, like a forensic snow story because it was marked in the snow and you could see every step of the way. If it had all happened in one place, it landed, dug, wrestled and killed all in one core you would have had to dig down to get it but because it happened here to here to here you could see this story but mu much of nature doesn't unfold in a very narrative fashion like that mm. so a lot of what i'm trying to do is kind of like get the story being told in a in a start middle and finish kind of way so that the human brain can kind of rock onto.